You ever fire up your PS5 for a chill gaming session and then halfway through the lag kicks in out of nowhere or worse, someone in your lobby starts talking about grabbing your IP address. Yeah, it's not a great vibe. But here's the thing, your PlayStation is awesome for gaming, streaming, and pretty much everything entertainment related. But when it comes to online privacy or switching regions for content, not so much. That's where using a VPN with your PS5 can seriously level up your experience. It's not just about keeping your IP hidden or avoiding DDoS attacks. The VPN can also help you access content from other countries, play new games early, or dodge bandwidth throttling from your internet provider. The only catch, the PS5 doesn't support VPN apps directly. But don't worry, there are three solid workarounds that actually work. And I'll walk you through all of them step by step. So let's get into it. Why you might want a VPN on your PS5. Before we jump into how to set things up, let's talk about why you'd even want to bother using a VPN on your PlayStation. Number one, protection from DDoS attacks. If you play a lot of online games, especially anything competitive, you've probably seen people threatening to boot others offline. That's a DDoS attack. And it happens when someone targets your IP address with a flood of traffic. The result, you lag out or you get disconnected. A VPN hides your real address. So if someone tries to launch an attack, they're aiming at the VPN server, not you. Two, unlock geo-restricted content. Trying to get into a different game lobby, stream something from another country, or play a game before it launches in your region, a VPN can help with that. You just connect to the server in the region that you want and boom, your PS5 sees you as being there. Three, avoid ISP throttling. Some internet providers slow down your connection if they see you using a lot of bandwidth. If you've ever noticed your downloads mysteriously crawling during peak hours, this could be why. A VPN encrypts your traffic and hides what you're doing, which can help bypass that. Four, extra privacy. Even if you're not super worried about DDoS attack or region blocked content, there's nothing wrong with wanting to keep your online activity private. Using a VPN helps prevent your internet service provider or other third parties from tracking your gaming habits. So yeah, there's a lot of good reasons to use a VPN on your PS5. Now let's break down how to actually do it. Method one, use a VPN enabled router, the best long-term solution. Let's start with the router method because it's the cleanest and the most permanent option. So this is where you set up a VPN directly on your Wi-Fi router. Then any device that connects to your home network, including your PS5, will automatically be protected by the VPN. No need to fiddle with settings on each device. Just connect to Wi-Fi like normal and you're covered. Step-by-step -step overview. Pick a VPN that supports router installation. Some good options here include ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark. All three have solid guides and router support. Next, check if your router is compatible. Not all routers can run VPNs. Routers from Asus, Netgear, Linksys, or GL.inet usually work pretty well. If you're not sure, check your router model online or ask your VPN provider support team. Log in to your router's admin panel. Usually you just type in 192.168.1.1 or 192.168.0.1 into your browser. Then log in. Your credentials might be on a sticker on the back of your router if you've never changed them. Upload your VPN configuration file. So go to your VPN provider's website, download the config file for your desired location, like Japan, the UK, or the East Coast of the USA, and upload it to your router in the VPN settings. Connect and test. Now, once the router is connected to the VPN, just connect your PS5 to your regular Wi-Fi and test the connection. Now, the pros of this method is that it covers every device on your network, so you can set it and forget it. And it works even when your PC is off. The cons is it can be a bit technical to set up, and it's harder to switch VPN locations on the fly. Also, not every router supports VPNs. If you're serious about security and you want the easiest experience day to day, then this is the move. Some VPNs even sell routers pre-configured with everything ready to go, like ExpressVPN's AirCove. All right, next up is the PC sharing method, AKA turning your Windows computer into a kind of VPN bridge for your PS5. Here's the idea. You install your VPN on a Windows PC. Then connect the PS5 to the PC via Ethernet, and then share the VPN connection from the PC to the console. So here's what you'll need. A Windows PC with Wi-Fi and Ethernet, an Ethernet cable, a VPN installed and connected on your PC. Here's the step-by-step. -step. Install your VPN and connect to a server. Open up the app, for NordVPN, Surfshark, ExpressVPN, whatever you've chosen. Pick your location, like 
Germany if you're trying to play in quieter lobbies at night and connect. Connect your PC to your PS5 using an ethernet cable. Plug one end of the cable into your PS5 and the other into your PC. Then go to network and sharing settings. On your PC, open control panel. Navigate to network and sharing center. Change adapter settings. Find the VPN adapter. It might say something like tap Express VPN. Right click, click on properties, then sharing tab. Enable sharing. So check the box that says allow other network users to connect. In the drop down, select the ethernet connection that links to your PS5. Click OK, then set up your PS5. On your PS5, go to settings, network, set up internet connection. Choose use a LAN cable. Easy setup, skip proxy when asked. Test the connection to make sure that it's working. Now, once that's done, your PS5 will be using your PC's internet connection, which is already running through the VPN. Now, the pros of this is that it's great if your router isn't VPN compatible, and it's easy to switch servers anytime, and there's no extra hardware needed beyond your PC and an ethernet cable. The cons are it requires your PC to be on and connected the whole time, and it only works with Windows, not Mac. It can also be a little finicky depending on your setup. Still, this is probably the most flexible option if you want full control without buying a new router. Last up is the mobile hotspot method. This is especially useful if you're traveling or you don't have access to a router or a PC. You're basically going to use your phone's VPN connection and share it with your PS5 through a Wi-Fi hotspot. So here's how it works. Install a VPN on your Android or iPhone. Open up the Surfshark, ExpressVPN, or NordVPN app depending on which one you chose, and connect to a server. Turn on your mobile hotspot. This will broadcast a Wi-Fi signal that your PS5 can connect to. On your PS5, connect to the phone's hotspot. Go to settings, network, set up internet connection. Then choose use Wi-Fi and connect to your phone's hotspot. And that's it. Now your PS5 is online using your phone's VPN connection. And if you're using an Android phone and you want a more advanced setup, some tutorials can even show you how to use apps like every proxy to create a more controlled proxy connection. But for most people, just using your phone as a VPN hotspot is more than enough. So the pros of this is it's super easy and fast to set up. It's great for travel or temporary use. And there's no extra hardware required. The cons are it can eat up mobile data quickly, and it might not be ideal for long gaming sessions. Also, some VPNs may not fully support hotspot sharing, but still, it's a great backup plan and surprisingly reliable for casual gaming or quick fixes. So how do you know if the VPN's working? After you set everything up, you probably want to know if it actually worked. The easiest way is to check your IP address. Grab your phone or laptop, connect to the same hotspot or Wi-Fi that your PS5 is on, and visit a site like whatsmyipaddress.com or surfshark.com slash what is my IP. If the location matches the VPN server you picked, you're good to go. Your PS5 is running through the VPN. VPNs that work great with PS5 setups. Now let's talk real quick about which VPNs are actually worth using with your PS5 setup. I'm not going to give you a hard pitch, but after testing a bunch, these three consistently work the best. ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN is known for having some of the fastest servers. It's great if you want the best connection speed for gaming. It has easy router setup and even sells a pre-configured router called Aircove. So if you want to get started with ExpressVPN and get the best pricing possible, just click the link down below in the description and then click on Get ExpressVPN. From here, you can choose between one of their three plans. They've got a one-month plan, a 12-month plan, and a two-year plan. You're going to get the best deal if you get the two-year plan. In fact, you're also going to get four months extra as well as the best pricing and all of its features. They also have a 30-day money-back guarantee so you can try it out, see if it's going to work for you and your needs and make your decision within that period. Next is NordVPN, and it's a great balance of speed and features. It offers threat protection, it works well with PC sharing setups, and it's a solid choice for both gamers and streamers. And if you want to get started with NordVPN, we'll have a link for you down in the description. Just click on that link and then click on get the deal. And then NordVPN has four plans to choose from, and you can also choose the term you want to commit to. So I'll just select two-year plan and the most popular plan and click on buy now. Then for only $107.73, you're going to get two years plus four months extra to NordVPN. They also got a 30 day money back guarantee so you can try it out, make sure it works for your PS5, make your decision within 30 days. And last but not least is Surfshark, and it's best if you're on a budget. It also lets you use unlimited devices with one account. It's still fast enough for most games and solid for hotspot sharing as well. So to get started with Surfshark, just click the link down below, click on get Surfshark VPN, and sort of similar to NordVPN, they've got a couple different plans to choose from and a couple different terms. For this example, I'll just do the same thing, 
choose the most popular on a 24 month term. And then you can see for only $67 and 23 cents, you're going to get two years plus three months extra. And they also have a 30 day money back guarantee. So you can go ahead and try these all out, see which one's going to work the best for you and your budget and make your decision. So no matter which one you go with, all three support the methods that we talked about today. Just pick the one that fits your setup and budget. So which method should you choose? So what's the best way to use a VPN on your PS5? Here's the breakdown. If you want a permanent setup that works for your whole home network, then go with the router method. If you want flexibility and you already have a PC nearby, use your Windows PC as a VPN bridge. And if you just want something quick and portable, you can use your phone as a VPN hotspot. All three methods work, it just depends on your gear, your patience, and how often you wanna change things up. So that's it, that's the full guide to setting up a VPN on your PS5. Hopefully this helped make things clearer and less frustrating. If you've got questions or you hit a snag while setting things up, then just drop a comment and we'll do our best to help you out. Now, if you wanna get started with any of the VPNs we talked about today, you'll find links for them down in the description below. These are affiliate links, which means we earn a small commission when you use them at no extra cost to you. And these commissions really help support the channel and allow us to continue to create free content just like this. So if you end up using them, we thank you so much in advance. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. Here on the channel, we cover everything from VPNs and cybersecurity to how to stay safe online and detailed product comparisons. So be sure to subscribe. But other than that, thanks for watching. We'll see you here in the next video.